Good morning, I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Gardner. We've been talking about the potential for a front to bring us some showers and thunderstorms on Friday really all week long. Let's jump ahead. Um, this front has really fired up a line of strong thunderstorms, especially for parts of the deep south from uh, southern Tennessee all the way down through uh, Mississippi and Alabama. And there is a new severe thunderstorm warning there, that orange shaded area uh, west of Atlanta. That's a severe thunderstorm watch that's in effect and a bunch of uh, warnings and some tornadoes with this system as well. As this front crosses the mountains, it will weaken somewhat and it is not likely to bring us that sort of level of severe storms. Future cast this morning showing mainly clear skies so we'll see some sunshine maybe some high thin clouds. We start to cloud up around lunchtime and around one we start to see that first line of showers rolling through. At three o'clock it's right in the middle of the viewing area with some scattered rain. Uh, a little bit of that may be heavy at times with some scattered thunderstorms uh, but by five o'clock the bulk of it is moving out and we start to see just some isolated to scattered showers on through the evening. So the wettest part of the day is likely to be around the middle of the afternoon. But after that, we could still see a few stray showers. So you want to keep that umbrella raincoat handy, download the WRL uh, app and take a look at the radar there. Um, at six o'clock in the morning Saturday, we may still see a few isolated showers. Those move on out between eight and nine o'clock. So if you're headed to the, uh, the parade on Saturday morning, it looks like we'll be dry and, and much of Saturday will be dry and looking just fine. 40% chance of rain this afternoon and uh, into the evening, just a few isolated showers. A quick shower Saturday morning and on Sunday, we may see some late day showers in our southern counties. St. Patrick's Day Parade tomorrow at 10 a.m. We should see the rain moving out by that point. Temperatures will be in the mid 60s. It'll be breezy, a little breezy this afternoon, a little breezy for um, tomorrow as well. Our temperatures as you're heading out the door are definitely mild instead of 40s like we've seen the last several days. We're looking at temperatures in the 50s this morning, mid to upper 50s heading out. And we did hit 80 degrees yesterday, first time this year. So temperatures expect mid to upper 80s heading out the door. That's going to be anywhere from around 5 to almost 20 degrees warmer than this time yesterday. 82 in Raleigh, 81 in Durham, and 85 in Fayetteville this afternoon. So it's another warm one. Uh, it gives me a little bit of pause because we are going to see some rain during what's typically the warmest part of the day. So hopefully we'll make it into the 80s, but we'll see. After that, we have a big uh, surge of cold air that comes in. We'll start to feel that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but we may see temperatures moderating a little bit behind that. Um, one of the biggest stories is with the cold temperatures, the potential for freezing temperatures Tuesday and Wednesday morning. Our normal low is 40, so this puts us well below normal. Our trees are moderate for pollen right now, uh, and we're looking at uh, highs over the weekend in the low to mid 70s, mostly on the dry side. A chance of a shower early Saturday morning and then late in the afternoon on Sunday, especially in our southern counties. Tuesday will be the coldest day at 55, but then we jump back to 73 by Thursday.